In today's video, we are going to be cooking the Jack O' Lentil Burger from Season 3, Episode 2 of Bob's Burgers titled Full Bars. Hey everybody, we got a party violation over here. What are you doing? Bob is not wearing a costume. Now, we're gonna get you to the costume closet. No, no, no. There, all better. So the burger book has brought us back together once again. We're doing the Jack with Lentil Burger, which as the name implies, has lentils on it. I have never had lentils. I don't even know really what it is. So let's bust them out. Let's learn together if you've never had lentils as well. So per the usual flow of these videos, let's bust out the ingredients and get started. Ingredients time, starting with some grass-fed lentils followed by some goat cheese and a small ass container, one large onion, some ground ginger, a couple stalks of celery, some serrano peppers for some heat, followed by spinach plus kale if you're feeling adventurous, some honey stolen from some hardworking bees, a couple cloves of garlic, and a green pepper that has seen better days. And of course we also have the buns and beef to make the patties. I just didn't include that because I just figured that's assumed with making a hamburger. This one seems to be a little bit more complex than usual and it has a few more ingredients as well. But this one's gonna be fun. So let's not waste any time. Let's get started on prepping for the burger. As someone who watches a lot of cooking videos and deals with probably more anxiety than the regular person, I find myself watching and listening to people cut up vegetables to be very therapeutic and overall good vibes. So my challenge to you today is try to relax and take in said vibes and not let our obliterated attention spans win. Plus, the burger at the end is going to make you feel alive and slap your cheeks in the best of ways. These peppers need to be de-seeded because seeds are gross and spicy. We hate seeds. This is something I'm very passionate about. Next, we're going to boil about three cups of water and one cup of lentils. Cover with a lid and then simmer on low heat for a few minutes. The next step is to cook and soften up all the vegetables we prepared. For the people who like to watch vegetables cook, this is your time. Get some butter in there, the more fat the better, I always say. In fact, if you need a bad lesson, I'm probably your go-to guy. The lentils are done cooking, so we're going to add them straight into our mixture, right? Wrong. First, we're going to mix in some honey and then add them to our mixture. Let's get about two teaspoons of ground ginger in there. With us flying through the cooking process, it is now time to prep that patty, get it seasoned, we're gonna get it onto the cast iron pan. Let's get it. Your meat doesn't have to come in some satisfying wrapper you can slice open with a knife, but I highly recommend it. It does add an extra layer of feeling like a really cool chef. We're going to form our patty with our hands and then make sure we properly season the ever-living daylight out of it. Get that patty into the pan and let's create some magic.
Don't forget to toast them buns. It's now time to build that hamburger, starting with our bottom bun and a good amount of goat cheese. Next, we're gonna get some greens on there to help absorb some juices. Speaking of juices, our juicy patty comes next, followed by our lentil mixture. You can also add some additional honey at the end, and top with the top bun. All right, the burger is done. Let's get a plate because we know it's gonna get messy. The aroma in the air from cooking all these ingredients together is pretty insane, to be honest. It's gonna be very interesting to see how this one tastes, so let's just go ahead and go for it. We can break it down afterwards. Let's go, this one's really good. There's so many conflicting but amazing flavors in this burger. The sweetness from the honey, the creaminess and the earthiness from the cheese as well as the spinach and kale, the, the spice level from the green peppers and the, and the chilies. Oh man, just a, just a salty, just unbelievably complex burger and it's so good. It's so good, it's definitely, I'm just, before I even rate it, I was gonna say it's one of the best ones I've made so far. The only downside I would say to this burger is that there is kind of a weird texture to lentils. Do I think lentils really take away from the experience? No, do I think it adds a lot? I, I can't really say. In regards to a rating, I'm going to give this burger an 8.75 out of 10. I highly recommend you at least try it. So another great recipe from the Bob's Burgers cooking book. On to the next burger next week. I'll see you then, peace.